All right, guys, now that we've put the top plate on, got the receiver attached, put our antenna on, and for some of you, I was just realizing that uh, I'm probably gonna go ahead and have these put on for you, the antennas on, and have the silicone put on there for you so you don't have to worry about them coming off or at least you don't have to worry about them plugging in. Um, so I'm not gonna, I, it may, it depends on what version you get. However, one thing I do wanna point out to you is this. We still have these antennas that we have to put up and for that, you're gonna need to grab the other, the two remaining zip ties that you have. Okay, and I need to try to find two of the same length. And here's what we're gonna do with these, okay? We're gonna take our zip ties and we're gonna basically, we're going to, um, from the top, we're gonna go straight down through that same hole that the antenna wire is going through. Okay, and we're gonna turn it out, just like this, come to the outside. Okay, make sure you don't get your antenna wire caught in that. And we're gonna zip tie it here, just like this. All right, and just kind of feed it through, just like this, okay? And you're gonna do that until the the uh, buckle here of the zip tie is on the top plate, just like this. Just kind of tighten it down, okay? That's what it should look like, just like this. Okay? And we're gonna do the same for the other side. We're gonna start from the inside here, go down, bring it out, feed it all the way through, okay? Bring it back up and start tightening it and make sure you don't get your uh, antenna caught in that, okay? There you go. Now your two wire, your two um, zip ties should look something like this. Kind of sticking straight up in the air, so to speak, right, with the buckles right on the top plate, okay? What we're gonna do now is you're gonna take your, um, uh, you should have some uh, heat shrink. So you're gonna take your heat shrink, and this is if you've got a heat gun, and if you don't, then uh, you, you won't do this part, but it's, it's encouraged that you do so. You can get a hair dryer, that should help you anyway. You're gonna take your heat shrink that we've provided you and you're gonna slide it over the zip tie and you're gonna make sure that the antenna wire goes in there as well and you're gonna slide that all the way to the bottom. Do this on this side too. Okay, just like that. All the way to the bottom, okay? Just like that, all right? So you now have your zip tie basically on the outside, okay? And you have your antenna wire on the inside. With your hair dryer or heat gun, whatever you have, just go up to there and just kind of pass it over. And what you're gonna notice is it's gonna shrink and it's gonna bend the antenna in a little bit, right? That zip tie is gonna start coming in. You wanna make sure that heat shrink is on there really good because you do not want that wire to um, fall out. Let's do the other one real quickly. And, they're, and naturally, the way we put this on, they're naturally gonna bend inward, okay? Just like that. All right, now what I want you to do once you've done, uh, once you shrink the heat shrink here, once you've got it all wrapped up, I want you to take the top of your, your, your zip tie and I want you to kind of hold it down just a little bit so there's an arch and I want you to heat it again and let it just kind of take the shape that it's folding away from the drone to make somewhat of a V, okay? Or just a curved V, I guess. And then when you get it to the angle you want, just hold it there a minute. I'll show you exactly what we're gonna do. You should see it kind of looking like this, okay? Just like that, all right? Once it's cooled off, it should hold somewhat of a shape, just like that, see? And we're gonna do the same on this side. Go ahead and heat it up, okay? And try to get your curve, your arch in here. Get it to bend the way you want it. And it doesn't take much to do it. And then just stop using the heat gun and let it cool. When it cools, it'll hold that. And you want these kind of going like this a little bit. It doesn't have to be perfect. But what you're looking for is you're looking to get these antennas to basically cover almost like a V or to make an L. And this is going to be good enough, okay? Once you do that, get to your zip tie. Find where your antenna ends, the white piece ends, and cut your zip tie at that same spot. Do not cut the antenna. Just make sure they're even with each other, all right? All right, guys, and once you do that, you're now done with your antennas and your zip ties, and we're going to come back to show you just how to check this through, make sure everything's set. All right, guys, we'll be right back.